friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa and I do fashion and travel reviews. And so if you like to shop, you like to travel, and you like to shop when you travel, we're gonna have so much fun together. If this is your first time, thank you so much for tuning in. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Please like this video if you know you like this video. And without much more rambling, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the video. I don't have a lot of time to film this and so I'm gonna get right into it you guys I did a lot of damage in 2021 I bought a lot of things I bought a lot of things I bought a lot of things I spent a lot of money um, I did a lot of shopping I'm paying for it now but yeah I did a lot of shopping you know I bought a new house I got a promotion like a lot of life-changing events happened and so a lot of splurging a lot of splurging went on whether it be home fashion travel like I just bought a whole ton of stuff and so I wanted to let you guys know what which one of those things were hits and some of them were unfortunately misses let's talk about Fashion. Yes, I did a whole lot of fashion buys. I think I have always kind of liked luxury things, but I've never dabbled too much into it. Um, maybe I treat myself to like one or two things a year. I don't know what happened last year. I was treating myself to one or two things a day. Definitely is not the most sustainable way to live your life. And so um, I... I have just made a promise to myself that for the first six months of this year, I really wanna you know, invest in myself. I really want to spend less money on stuff, whether it's luxury or not luxury, I wanna save more so that I can have like, you know, a huge spending spree. I will buy stuff when I travel because I have to. Um, and so without rambling further, let me get into my hands down. Should I start with the best thing ever? Yes, I will start with the best thing ever the best the best the best purchase i made all year last year Ta -da! i mean if you know me you know that this is going to be it like this bag this bag like i i still can't believe that i own it it is the chanel 19 in this beautiful gray tweed color i believe this is the smallest size and it's quite large it fits everything in this world that i could ever want it to fit I love the two-tone hardware, so the top handle is gold, and then part of the longer strap is this ruthenium silver. And I think that the, the, the gold against the gray is so beautiful. I got this June of last year, so it was part of the 21P collection, I think. Um, so it was pre-fall, and I really thought that this was gonna be a bag that I would wear more in the fall and the winter months, but to my surprise, I wore this more in the summertime. Like as soon as I got this bag, I just started wearing it. Um, so Hilo Lux on YouTube and Instagram and everywhere else, she also has this bag and she talked about how it was one of her least, um, one of her worst purchases because she doesn't wear it. Um, and I just thought, girl, it hurts when I hear her say that because I wear it so much. I did have the, the same kind of thought process. Like, oh, this will be like a really nice wintery, fall type bag but no I wore this so much in the summer it looks so great um next to white dresses and denims and powder blues which are colors that I wear a lot um I don't wear a lot of actual gray clothing but I wear it turns out I wear a lot of clothing that are that is complemented by gray even what I'm wearing today I feel like this kind of goes but it's the perfect bag for when you're wearing a colorful outfit and you don't want to do a lot like it's great or the reverse when you're wearing like a really like neutral white silvery powder blue and you just want to like stunt <laughs> and so this by far is my favorite purchase the price has already gone up I think twice since I bought it so I'm very excited about that um, I got it just before a price increase and then it's all it's like also the gift that keeps on giving because this is the first thing I posted on TikTok that kind of went viral and so I'm so excited about that. Like this, I will never ever get rid of this bag. Um, okay, never never say never, but I have no plans on getting rid of this bag anytime soon. All right, the next bag that 
is kind of one of my favorite bag purchases from last year is a shocker to me and I'm pretty sure it'll be a shocker to you as well is this Paco Rabanne <laughs> little um, metallic sequin disc bag like I got this totally no I wouldn't say on a whim I've been looking at it for a while but I got it because I just thought it would be really cute for an outfit that I had in mind and it did turn out fantastically I won't lie you can't fit a whole lot of stuff into this bag but I feel like it is the perfect going out bag for when you don't want to carry a big bag you don't want to carry a dainty bag or a girly bag and you just don't want to carry something that's like might get lost or is too expensive I think this adds functionality and style to any outfit it's a little bit difficult to see but yeah I got this bag off of Farfetch it was one of my um, cheaper bags that I bought last year I believe I got it for about $400 or so they have different sizes different variations and they also have like in gold and stuff like that I got this because I don't have a lot of um, silver hardware or like metallic type I don't have anything I don't have a lot let me not say I don't have anything I don't have a lot of silver hardware bags and I really wanted something for the nights out and this really end up being a lifesaver I've used it on multiple occasions I definitely feel like I had gotten my cost per wear out of it and I didn't spend like an arm and a leg on it so I'm really <laughs> really really happy about this purchase and who would have thought that me a gold girl this would these two bags would have been like my best purchases of 2021 but I guess that just shows growth I love that you know I'm starting to experiment more with my style and like really finding out things that I like versus things are that other people like you know you can find whatever that's what I love about fashion is like there's just so much room for expression um I think no that is it for the favorite bags that I have um now the least favorite bags that I bought last year one of them is already gone like I just couldn't I tried if you've been watching this channel for a year you know what I'm talking about it was the Marc Jacobs snapshot bag I sold it I hope it's um, in a new home right now I'm glad I sold it because I put some of that money towards another bag purchase and so yeah I tried I really tried with that bag it was a beautiful colorway and I'm gonna see if I can find that same colorway in the soft shot which is a softer more easily manipulated version of that bag but yeah I talked about how number one it was just too small and I have a lot of small bags but the way it was constructed made it kind of unusable um, and I really wanted to use it for travel and I did take it on I think two or three trips with me but it was just a fuss like it just I wasn't reaching for it as often as I should have because it just it, it it didn't do the job that I needed it to do and so it is gone I still think it's a really pretty bag I like the price point and if you're thinking about getting that bag I would just say look at the soft shot it's almost identical except that the soft shot is not made from Safiana leather it's made from a more supple leather which is I think better for a bag in that structure and that size so yeah that bag is gone now the next um, worst bag purchase I made last year and I do not tend to make a lot of bad bag purchases because I spend a lot of time researching before I pull the trigger to buy a bag um, and usually if it's an expensive bag I, I, I try to go to the store I try it on like I make sure that it's something that's gonna jive with me but this one I don't know how I missed this I really don't know how I missed this but this is how you know that it's bad because I bought this bag like maybe two months ago, if that. It is her. This is Cuckoo. <laughs> this is my Jacquemus um, Le, Le Grand Bambino bag. And I love the color. Like I stalked so many websites for months waiting for this color because it had sold out when it first came out. And I was just waiting to find this color and find it on sale, which I did. And I'm so glad I got it on sale because I would have been so pissed if I got it full price. Right now, it seems fine. It seems okay. But when I first wore it out, it's not doing it right now, but see how easily because it is um, a magnet closure, this just would not stay shut. It would not stay shut. Every single time um, I looked down at the bag, it was open. It was open like that. 
and it was just really annoying. And you know, it doesn't actually fit as like, it's a little deceiving because the bag, when you look at it on websites and stuff, it looks bigger than it actually is. It's not the smallest bag, but I would say if you look at this and you look at the Chiquito bag in the medium size, this looks bigger, but I feel like they, they fit about the same amount of stuff. And it's again doing that thing where it's like super rigid, so I just, and then this back pocket, you can't fit anything in there, so it's giving me a lot of the similar issues that the snapshot bag was giving me so I hate to say it I don't know I don't know if this bag is gonna stay in my collection for very long um, I, I only wore it once and so I'm gonna try and wear it a couple more times before I ultimately decide what I want to do but I do think that it'll be another great vacation bag I love bags that are like the Jacquemus price point because you know you still kind of have that like l luxury feel and that trendy kind of you know feel but you didn't spend so much on the bag that you're not like oh my god this is like you know my life savings is in this bag and so that's why I think that they are the perfect bags for vacation like I said I'm not totally writing it off right now but I will definitely keep my eye on it because if something isn't working for me I just don't keep it around that much long I don't keep it around for long it's boom boom gone let's move on to shoes um I didn't buy that many shoes last year I don't think I think towards the end of the year I did because I knew I wasn't gonna be buying much this year um okay that is a lot I bought probably as many shoes last year as I did bags if not more and so let me start with the positives of what I loved which comes as a surprise to me even it is my Hermes Oran sandals I have a video of my experience going into the Hermes store I, number one I thought that getting these shoes would be a lot more complicated than it actually was um, I was in New York for a couple of days I requested an appointment at Hermes I got it the same day got in got my shoe and boom it was no fuss and I was really like, oh my God, it's Hermes. Are they gonna think I want a bag? Are they gonna think, like, it was the easiest thing ever. I got it at the Hermes that's on Gansevoort. Um, and the lady who helped me at first, she was like, I think she could tell I had no money. <laughs> um, at first she was a little like, you know, distracted, but when she did finally get to helping me, um, she was the one that told me to go a half size up in these shoes. This is the gold color. Like obviously you're looking at it and you're like, this is brown, but it's actually called gold at Hermes. Um, I am a size 11. I got this in an 11 and a half, I think. Yeah, I got, sorry. I, I'm a size 41 and I got this in a 41.5. It fits perfectly. Now when you first get these shoes, they're gonna be a little bit difficult to break in, um, but just give it some time. Give it about a week or so of wearing them and then they become the most comfortable thing in the world. And I don't know, like, I don't really like buying things in multiples, but I do feel like these are a shoe that I might get like another color in, like a fun color, just because I feel like this style is not the most exciting thing in the world, and so I don't need to have a collection of these, but they are very practical. I'm glad that I got this color um, because it helps for when I have outfits and I just don't have shoes to match. These blend right in with my skin, and so it's almost like I'm not wearing anything on my feet. So. I do like that I have these, but I am considering maybe sometime in the future I might get another pair in, you know, just a fun color or so, or a fun texture. But yeah, those are one of my favorite shoe purchases of 2021. Next favorite purchase, shoe-wise, is are these um, dad sandals from Sui Coke. I know, super random, but I had never heard of these brand, this brand in my life. I didn't know what it was. But I, you know, the Chanel Dad sandals were trending and I was looking at the Prada ones and I was like, ah, oh. like I get the practicality of these shoes, but I feel like these are really trendy and it's just not, not worth the money. And I got these for like $100 or so on um, Farfetch and these by far were one of my most complimented shoes of last year. Number one, they were super comfortable. They helped me so much when I was moving because I was walking up and down the street, Ikea runs, Home Depot, like I was going all over the place and these were like the perfect shoes to throw on in the summertime because they were super comfortable and they were kind of cool looking as well. 
so many compliments from them, especially from guys. I feel like these are definitely more masculine type shoes. And yeah, I'm just really happy that I did that. I'm happy that I didn't spend a whole lot of money on a designer shoe or something like that, that I may not wear for years to come. But as far as cost per wear for those, I definitely got my cost per wear from the Sui Coke shoes. Now let's talk about the shoes that, ugh, did not quite go the way that I thought that they would. So I will start with these shoes, which are the Dior D-Way Slides. And it's really, this is just me being a little bit nitpicky. There's nothing wrong with the shoe. I think that they are beautiful. I think that they are gorgeous, but they just don't, these shoes have never added anything to a look for me personally. I think that these shoes are simply just a matter of saying I have Dior shoes. Like that's it, that's all that they do. Um, and I think I got them because I had seen them at a Saks when I was in Miami and I was like, oh, these look pretty cool. And then I had seen a couple weeks later that Dior was having a price increase, which hint, hint, Dior is having a price increase again. I don't know if this video, when this video will come out, um, but if they haven't already had one, one's gonna happen in January. Um, so yeah. January, February, like a Dior price increase is coming. Um, so that's why I got these shoes. And I, I felt a little smug when I got them because like the next day they went up by like $30, $40. Um, and I love the colorway, I love everything about them. But like I said, they've never really added anything to an outfit that I own. Um, they actually sometimes make the outfit look a little too casual. And so, I don't know, I guess it will be, I would classify these as like a collector's item. Like they're not, your feet don't look that great in them. They're just there. Like they're just there. And for shoes that, especially what they cost now, I don't know that it's worth it. Like I don't, I will not be repurchasing these unless I find them in a sale or something. But I just think for what they cost, like there's so many other shoes out there. I think these are actually more expensive than Hermes Orang sandals and like I said, the Oran sandals have been incredibly functional for me and these have not. So they're not uncomfortable. I don't know, they're just, a, they're mid, they're mid. That's the best way I can describe them. They're just mid. Um, another shoe purchase, which was an impulse. And I more often than not tend to regret all my impulse buys are these shoes from Bottega. Again, another thing that I got because I was hyped that I was able to get them on sale. Um, Bottega had a really, really huge year last year and I wanted to be one of the girls. Um, and brown was also another color that was trending. Now I will say that's probably the only thing that has saved these shoes for me is the fact that they are brown. Um, I did not know how much I needed a brown shoe or like a brown sandal like this in my closet. Um, they're very like chocolatey kind of brown, so I do appreciate that about them. But um, number one, they're not the most comfortable thing because of the raffia against your bare sole is is not that comfortable. My feet are a little bit wider in the in the in the toe section, and so this doesn't stretch as much as I'd like it to. I have really, truly, honestly not worn these shoes that much, maybe twice or so, and already look look at the back. Look at the heels. So all in all, like, I did try to sell these. Um, no one was trying to buy them for the price that would make sense to me because I did spend a lot of money on these shoes. And then I was like, well, why don't you just try wearing them? Because um, I definitely did try to sell them before I wore them because I just was like, I cannot believe I spent that much money on shoes. Um, and when I started wearing them more, I was like, okay, these aren't bad. Actually, I don't think I want to part ways with these. And so, well, I still don't think I want to part ways with these. I'm kind of upset about how much money I spent on them. And if you are thinking about buying these shoes, I would just say get a dupe. Just get a dupe. Like the Bottega hype, I'm sure will die down someday. Um, if they were half the price that they I bought them for, I would be like, oh yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, but they're not. And I even got them like on a discount and I still think I spent way too much money on them. Um, so yeah, the, that is probably one of my worst shoe purchases ever simply just for the price alone. And then the last thing I wanna end this video with is clothing, clothing. Um, I don't have too many worst clothing bits, but I do have some items that have just been revolutionary in my closet, like revolutionary in my closet. And 
it, <laughs> the first are these pair of Margiela slash jeans. I told a story about how I bought them on accident and I've been looking at them for a really long time. I had been trying to, I was like maybe I can DIY it myself but honestly the way these jeans fit on, the way they feel, let me start with how they feel. They feel really good, they feel really comfortable. They don't feel like jeans but they're definitely obviously denim, they're not jeggings. I just feel like they're so flattering personally for me. I'm also tall, I have thick thighs, and I've, it's really hard for me to try and get baggy jeans because sometimes they cling to places that they shouldn't. Um, but these jeans fit so well. Almost to the, I wear them once a week. Like I literally wear them once a week. And I think that I'm gonna buy another pair. Um, not anytime soon, I'm gonna get my cost per wear out of this. And if I wear them once a week until I think October, I think that would be, I would, I think October is a good time to get another pair. I'm looking at the white pair. I'm, I'm wondering if they can bring these jeans out and without the, without the rip. Like if they have this in white, they do have it in white. The white is actually cheaper. I feel like if I got the white, I could honestly just sew up the thing myself. But it is an amazing, it's amazing jeans. Like if you're thinking about them, if you're on the fence, just do it. Girl, just do it. You're not gonna regret it. You're not gonna regret it. I promise you that. You will not regret it. Um, also on denim, because denim is really hard to get right. So when you do, you just wanna scream it from the rooftop. Um, are these shorts by um, A Goldie? A Goldie is a brand that I wasn't too, like I keep hearing about on YouTube and stuff, but I didn't have anything from them. I got this during the Farfetch sale. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Oh, the Margiela jeans I got in a size 46. A French 46 and then I got these in the 31 these both fit amazingly um, these shorts are like the perfect length they're not too long they're not too short they lift your butt up a little bit and I thought it was it is kind of annoying that they don't have a zipper they just have these buttons but these were my go-to shorts last summer and yeah I don't think I'll be buying another pair because I feel like you only really need one pair of cutoffs but these are amazing and you know what they look good with So now my last bit of um, clothing item that just was not it for me. Unfortunately, I got caught up in hype and so I got a sleeper dress. I got two sleeper dresses. One I think is fine and the other was, yeah, could have been better. Could have been better. And this was the one I actually got full price. The one that I got um, on a very deep sale, that one worked out fine for me, but this one, I don't know, it just wasn't giving me anything. I don't know if it's like maybe I got the sizing wrong, but it's a white sleeper dress. And I know these are all over the place, but the one that, what made this a little bit different was the sleeve. So it's kind of ruched in multiple places on the sleeve. I'll pop up a picture of what it's supposed to look like. So I was like, oh, this one's a little bit different, but I think maybe I needed to size up. I'm not sure what size I got, but it just didn't look spectacular on me it looked very normal and I was like I spent a lot of money on this like I, I should be feeling a little bit more here um, but yeah honestly the sleeper dresses are great but they have so many dupes I have a black one from what is it uh, not Beckham Bridge where did I get that black one from Petal and Pup amazing I love that dress so like I just don't know why anyone would really unless you have the money and you really love the brand and want to support I don't know why you would pay full price from sleeper for any one of these dresses like they're just so regular but yeah that is it for my best and worst of 2021 I hope you enjoyed this video as always if you did leave a comment leave a like, subscribe. I love it here. I hope you guys love it too. And I will see you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.